So Aquarius, your overall energy that I see is the Page of Wands. You have the Page of Wands in reverse with the Lovers in reverse. This is telling me that right now uh, you're, face you're facing a lot of financial instability and that is all because you're lacking foresight. Okay, you might have been very overconfident financially in the past and now you're dealing with the repercussions is what I'm getting, all right? You're not working hard enough, all right? And you're not being, being economical or you're not being very careful and cautious with your spendings. You probably are even making impulsive financial choices or not very responsible ones. Again, your financial choices may rather be very impulsive which means that, you know, your long-term financial security can be very, very threatened, all right? You need to ask yourself, are you making responsible choices or are you looking for immediate gratification, all right? Make sure that you understand what you're truly able to afford when it comes to your finances, all right? And all this is, and you're not literally looking into the future, okay? So, yeah, again, this is the reading of someone who's probably very immature when it comes to handling their finances, okay? So keep that in mind. Again, you're lacking a lot of foresight right now. Don't make decisions that where you get that instant gratification or don't make choices where you're choosing your heart over your head, okay? Make a head over heart decision, okay? Be more logistic with your decisions is what I'm getting. In the past, we have the devil in reverse with the king of cups in reverse. I feel that you've had, a, you've had a history of bad financial habits, a negative pattern that has been repeating itself over and over again. You may be working or you're making the changes necessary. Probably in the past, you did make the necessary changes and you took control over your finances. Either you could have been dependent on, on someone else for your material resources, like a partner or a family member or something, but I think you finally got out of that cycle and you're probably, you've got that new sense of independence, all right? However, however, okay, um, you could be probably the bad financial, uh, what I'm getting is with the addiction, the obsession, okay, whatever the bad financial habit was, it could have been overspending, out of control spending or a bad financial judgment. More so, I'm getting more like emotional financial choices, okay? You're probably, you could have probably found it very difficult to control your spending or you were just making, uh, or, or even, you know, you were making very illogical and not very well-informed decisions is what I'm getting, okay? So you probably may be letting your uncontrolled emotions make your financial choices and that could have been uh, creating a lot of problems for you. And that was your biggest issue in the past, but you anyways let it go, you've released it, okay? You've come out of that situation. In the current situation, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is telling me that uh, now that you have that sense of independence, right? In the past, you let go of uh, some dependence, some kind of dependence, right? However, right now, I feel that you're still probably overspending, okay? You may be overspending right now and because of that, you may have to deal with some serious financial issues, all right? Either there is impulsive buying going on or you're spending beyond your means, which is going to lead you to a lot of regrets. You may also be, again, I'm getting a lot of financial dependence on someone or something, okay, which we had in the past also. So yeah, you may also be financially dependent on another person, okay. But again, you could be engaging into some shady business deals or, you know, wanting to those get rich quick schemes, whatever, right? It doesn't have to be, but I'm just going to give you all the scenarios. Whatever this is, right? If you continue this, it's going to lead you to a lot of financial ruin, okay? Because you, this is you or you're dealing with someone or this is someone in your environment or this is again you, okay? Take it how it resonates. This is someone who's terrible with her finances. Don't take the gender. This is just the energy of the cards, okay? So you could be dealing with a feminine energy around you or this could just be your energy who's very, very bad with the finances right now, okay? Which is again making it very easy for you to mismanage your finances or mismanage your money. Okay, I think you're being too materialistic or too shallow, all right? I think you're probably even holding on cash, being very, very stingy with your objects and cash, okay? In order as, you know, in order to probably, you know, like quieten your insecurities, that's what you're doing. And that's one of the reasons you're overspending also, okay? So be very, very careful about that. I'm getting more impulsive spending, okay? Spending beyond your means. So be very careful about that. But whoever you're dealing with, even if you're not, even if you're not uh, someone who's being stingy, but at the same time you're being very materialistic and you're trying to spend a lot. Okay, not being very practical and grounded right now with your with your 
uh, judgments, you're not using your logic. These are not the emotional choices. Uh, what is the root of the issue? Let's see, what is the root of the issue? The root of the issue we have is the Queen of Cups in um, reverse with the star in reverse. We have a lot of reversals here, okay, which means there are a lot of blockages in your financial uh, situation. This is telling me that the root of the issue is that you need to look towards your own emotional well-being right now, okay? Look at your own emotions, okay? It's like, uh, right now, it's, it's a relationship to your sense of financial security, okay? Your emotions has this direct um, link to your financial security. Either you're spending compulsively, okay, or you're indulging into that little retail therapy, okay, where you're spending just to make yourself happy because you're very unhappy right now, okay? Like they say you're binge eating, okay, where someone's just upset and depressed and they just eat for the sake of it just to keep themselves happy. That's what that's the kind of energy that I'm getting here. This is going to be helpful in the short term, but you still you still need to address the root cause of your unhappiness, okay? Because just be aware, you're probably overstretching yourself also and you probably, your considerate and very loving nature can also mean that it's very easy for you to take care of others, okay? Even if you are very low on your resources, okay? You yourself are low on resources, but you will probably want to take care of others first. So be very careful about that. And with the star in reverse here, I'm getting that you're feeling very hopeless and you're losing faith in your situation or anyways, you know? But let me tell you, not all hope is lost. Okay, you may have already given up, but things you can things can still get better right now. Okay, you can still change your situation, but only if you gather up the strength, you know, and you get into seeing things more positively and seeing things in new light and take action. You need to open your heart to a more positive outlook. Okay, and just open your eyes to more opportunities. Okay, and things will get better. What you'll experience in the near future is the Six of Cups with the King of Wands in reverse. I'm getting that there could be some family who is going to be ready to help you, okay? This is your goodwill, okay? Because of your goodwill, uh, we can see uh, this related to the finances in a very uh, in a number of ways, okay? So I feel that there could be either there's some gift or some donation coming towards you or this is just simply sharing of resources. So there could be someone related to your childhood or from your home, okay? Where there's some sharing may come in from your family members. Okay, that's what I'm saying. This could also be that you're returning back to your parent and home, okay, which is again giving you the ability to save your own funds more because your funds are being taken care of by family members. But this is strictly family or someone from your childhood, okay, who's being able to help you out and who's trying to take care of you and, um, you know, uh, helping you out um, with your finances. Uh, but with the king of wands in reverse here, right? The biggest issue out here I feel is that there is someone to, either this is you or this is someone that you're dealing with, right? But the king of wands in reverse tells me that, you know what, you're being very, very reactive. I mean, if you're, you're still expecting, this is all happening because there's a lack of action and you're being reactive, okay? And you're waiting for things to fall into your lap. I mean, it's unreasonable, seriously, to expect the universe to give you success, okay? You need to take charge of your finances, which you're not. You're clearly not. You can, but you're not. You're choosing not to. And it's only because you're, you you know that your family is there to help you out, okay? That's why you're not doing this. I mean, instead of hoping for luck to come your way, that's what you're doing. You're hoping for luck to come your way. Excuse me. So, yeah, you're hoping for luck to come your way, Okay. But you need to be more proactive in seeking out your economic opportunities. You can command on your finances in a lot of ways, okay? You can budget your spending, you can ask for a raise, you know, you can ask for, seek for a different employment, whatever makes sense to you, okay, in your position. It is the best, okay? But it is easier to wait and hope that money falls into your lap, but it doesn't happen like that, okay? But that's what you're doing right now. You're just waiting. You need to work for this money, all right? You have the ability to realize your financial dreams, okay? But the problem here is that you're not taking action. Sorry, guys. I don't know if I'm sneezing so much. Sorry about that. 
Yeah, so what I'm saying in the near future, yes, you are going to be able to help. There's someone going to help you as either your family member or someone from your childhood, okay? But again, with the king of wands in reverse is not a very good sign. You're still continuing to do that. It's almost like I feel that someone's still not pulling the rug off your feet and that's why you're not getting that realization. What is the best potential outcome that we can expect is the ace of swords in reverse with the page of cups in reverse. Again, I'm getting a very strong sense of someone being very, very immature. We have the page of cups in reverse, the page of wands in reverse, okay? So I think you're not thinking rationally, okay? If this is how things are still going to go, you're not thinking rationally, okay? You're making, again, a lot of emotional decisions with your money, which is, again, going to lead you to a lot of mistakes and a lack of clarity around your finances. You need to go through your bank statements or anything legal to make sure that everything is all right, okay? You could also be making a lot of assumptions that everything is fine, but actually it's probably not, okay? And all this uh, is, again, only because... Um, your emotions are out of control. You're letting yourself get carried away and you're making very risky choices. It's like you're literally in denial about your financial state right now and you're probably running away from it instead of facing them. You're not learning your lessons. And let me tell you, denial is only dealing the inevitable. Okay, you cannot run away from a situation. If you're expecting, you shut your eyes and the situation is going to go away. That's not how it works. King of Wands. This needs to be in the upright. You need to start taking action. You're capable of this. You can realize. You realize your dreams. You can make it happen, okay? But not till you take action. You're waiting for things to come and fall into your lap. You're waiting for things to roll into your flavor. That's not how it's going to happen. This family situation, the Six of Cups, is going to go, only going to be there forever. It's a very temporary happiness. It's a very temporary situation. Till, you know, probably people realize that you're not really making moves towards yourself. And that's what you need to do. Okay, that's what you need to do. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.